Sorry, Agnes Kenya listing it as the, a, risk, a high risk level for COVID-19 area. However, the Kenyan government has rubbished the claim saying that the COVID-19 infections are under control with infections declining steadily. Zainab Mohammed now reports. A diplomatic row is brewing between Kenya and the United States after the U.S. CDC issued a travel advisory against Kenya, listing it as a high-risk level for COVID-19 area. According to the advisory, Americans are advised against traveling to Kenya and should it be a must for them to travel, the CDC advises that they should be tested three days before the travel, wear their masks during the travel while staying six feet from people who are not traveling with them, get tested before traveling back to the United States, and self-isolate for at least seven days upon arrival in the U.S. However, the Kenyan government has rubbished those claims, saying COVID-19 infections in the country are under control, with the infection steadily declining. It's not a surprise if the CDC in America uh, feels that they want to grade the situation in Kenya to level four, uh, as well as issue a travel, travel advisory. I think pe pe people are following. You know very well that uh, even when international air travel uh, was resumed, uh, was a very cautious approach by countries, including our own country, in terms of who we would allow to come into the country. And I think every country is trying to do that just so that they are able to protect themselves. Uh, we feel that uh, where we are in terms of the pandemic, uh, of course, we are going through a second spike, but we believe that, and we have seen over the last several days, that although our positivity rate had shot up to uh, very high numbers of 18 to 20 percent at some point, we have been seeing that positivity rate fall down to levels of around 12 percent or so. This even as Kenya records the highest number of COVID-19 recoveries in a single day after 11,177 people were reported to have recovered. 1,253 more people have contracted the virus and 16 more people succumbed to the disease. The Ministry of Health says it's not worried about the travel advisory issued by the U.S. as it is on top of its game in COVID-19 management. Zainab Mohammed, TV47, Nairobi.